Hi guys, good morning. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are well. So um, I thought today that I would do an ad hoc, very typical day in the life of Haas on a weekend. Um, it's Saturday. Um, I don't read, I've only got two things that are planned. The first thing is I've got a Pilates class at half nine. And then in the evening, I have my cousin's um, hen, Turkish hen party. It's like a, it's called a kuna. So I have that. Apart from that, I have no other plans for the day. So what tends to happen in situations like this is that I'll just do a whole lot of things unplanned. And I thought I'd take you along with me. Um, I think it might possibly be my undiagnosed ADHD because um, I just can't just can't do one thing like I'll go and do loads of other things and um, so I'm going I plan on taking you with me in terms of my Pilates outfit I always wear the same thing and um, this is the Mousse Lover all-in-one um, and oh, because I'm five foot one there's quite a lot of space on the leg at the bottom I got this originally in a medium but I think now I should have downsized to a small but when I bought it I was bigger then um, so I love this. I usually have my arms rolled down, but I've forgotten to charge my rolled up. Sorry, but I forgot to charge my Apple Watch, so I'm not going to wear my Apple Watch. So I might as well keep warm. If I do have a, a, two layers of Molly Mae's fake tan on, I should have just put one. So ignore that. Just got my slicked hair, which needs a wash. I'm going to wash it today. What I'll do is I'm going to just put my lip combo on. So what I use is I use the Doll Beauty. Diva Forever, it's my favourite. It's like the equivalent of the Mac Stone pencil, um, which I went through for years. And then I just use Nivea um, on top. So I've done my lips, and the weather is lovely today. It's chilly, but um, chilly but sunny, which is my favourite. What's the time? So I'll just put this PLT jumper on top. Yay. So guys, whoever invented um, whoever invented heated seats, thank you because that's great. So guys, we're off to Pilates. Today I'm remembering to take my own mat. Oh, I want to get my car washed today as well. Actually, that's a good point. Um, so I'm really excited actually, guys, because next week i'm actually trying um reformer pilates and i've been doing pilates for about over a year now before i think it was a trend not gonna lie because i think um it's really good for my scoliosis and i found it a lot easier than doing yoga so um i'm excited to try reformer pilates in the meantime um and also i do these lessons fasted Sorry, a bit of ASMR there. I do these lessons fasted, so I might take you guys with me to Aldi afterwards um, to go and get some bits once I'm done. Um, and yeah, so um, oh, I also got like a, I ordered last night a car mount so I can record and talk at the same time. That'd be cute, guys. It was. Um, Today, um, the instructor was probably unwell, so we did um, yoga. Now, I was contemplating whether to leave, because I, I find yoga quite difficult, because um, I'm quite stiff. I find Pilates a lot easier, and um, there's a lot of instructions that the instructor gives, and I can't really follow. Then I have to look, and I have to look up, and it's a bit long. But um, what the plan is now, let me put, turn my car on and put the heaters on. What the plan is now is, um, I was going to go to the town centre and have a look at Primark, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that today. So I think I'm going to go to um, Aldi um, and then I'm going to go to Aldi, get my lunch bits, then go to Tesco to get my car washed. Okay guys, so I am back from Aldi. Um, I didn't go in there with any particular intention. You know you should never do food shopping when you're hungry. Um, so 
I just got a few bits and bobs and usually we do, um, no it's not sponsored actually, we usually do HelloFresh three days a week but where I'm still working from home um, I haven't done that so that starts the following week. So I just got some random bits um, because we're going for dinner, or I don't know what we're doing but tomorrow we're going out and I've been asked to make my pistachio tiramisu so I got that. Mem's going out with his siblings, they're having steak, well they're not going out there eating in but they're having steak so there's loads of steak sides for that but it was quite pricey it's like 54 pounds when I can't actually figure out a full meal you can have a full meal with this but yeah let me let me show you as what's well, even more annoying the stuff I went in to buy they didn't actually have like the banana chips so I'll start over here so just some um I love the coconut oil toilet tissue love those um absolutely love these lentil chips They've got them, they're gluten-free, low in calorie. They've, we get them in the sea salt and barbecue. And this makes a really nice snack with um, like low-fat um, Philadelphia or, or spreadable cheese and cucumbers. Um, this is new and I buy the Oatly chocolate oat milk and I know it's probably not that great, but I use it as a treat. It's really nice, hot or cold, lovely. For the tiramisu, I bought two um, um, tubs of mascarpone and two double creams. Coffee pods, these are my favorite coffee pods from Aldi, um, the Nespresso ones, so I get those. Um, olives, some hummus, because I'm gonna do um, like hummus and carrots when I want a crunchy snack. Um, Baby Bell, my OGs, gastric sleeve girlies, love probably, this, this is a great snack if, you're on a, if you've had a gastric sleeve. But I had so many of them that I stopped eating them for about four months. Fancied them, so got them again. Some strawberries, um, some butter, um, wasabi mix, probably for my mum. Just a pack, I always get like a packet every time we go. This is really good in an emergency and if people are coming around or we haven't planned anything. So I always get a packet of just ready rice um, every time I go. Dried mango, yogurt coated cranberries. I haven't tried these before, but um, I went to get the banana chips and they didn't have any, so I opted for that. We've got three packets of tender stem broccoli because Mem is going to uh, make steak with his siblings. Um, and then the triple cooked beef dripping yeah, chips. They're the best chips in the world. I would show you, man, but he's um, sitting like a little pigeon on the sofa <laughs> in his pants. So I won't do that. Um, kiwis, really fancied kiwis, so I've got kiwis. Turkey rashers, they haven't had these in, um, in Aldi for a very long time. So I'm glad they've got them back. Um, chicken drumstick fillets, these are so good, especially if you want to make a dish that is really has very soft chicken, like a curry or something like that. Really good and really good value as well. Um, these are new um, protein pancakes, banana protein pancakes. Look, babe, banana protein pancakes. I tried to make these the other day and they weren't that nice. Um, so I bought some ready. Penne. Um, don't actually eat this, but um, I didn't have any in my pantry so I got some smoked salmon which is my go-to um, especially on a weekend after pilates uh, coriander and some helim so guys because I'm so hungry I'm actually not going to put anything away and I'm just going to eat instead this is my um, go-to post-workout meal um, and I'm breaking my fast technically because I I was fasting until, well, usually about 11. So, cucumber. Just a few. And maybe some from the side, actually, because these are um, Turkish cucumbers, so they're good. So, I'm gonna, I prefer, Oh, I've already got some. I need those. I need high protein. Oh no, I'll just open these. So you've got these high protein things. Um, usually, I prefer the thin Warburton's um, protein bagels. And I can just about eat one of those. But they don't sell those in Aldi. So we're going to have to make do. And then I use just reduced low light low cheap low fat cheese let me open i can never open this 
I've cut my cucumbers. Now I'm I'm only gonna lightly toast these because these fins literally they like they thing out they go over. I don't know what the word is. They they bend over when you toast them too much. So just a light light little toast, and then I'm going to spread some generous amount of cream cheese. Now. I know a lot of people don't toast smoked salmon, but if you actually use a little toaster, it's actually really nice. Cucumbers on. As many as I can fit on there. I don't really like it to overlap, but it's gonna have to overlap today. This is just the extra. And then, smoked salmon. An egg would go nice with this, but I can't be asked. So, it looked like that. I never lick my fingers, guys. Ignore me. And then tidy up and eat in between because when one thing I've noticed with the sleeve, where I get hungry quicker is because I eat fast and then I can only have three or four mouthfuls and then I'm done so I'm just going to finish this but I'm going to roam around tidying up as I do it So it's now, what's the time? Let's see. It's now 3.07. Um, same day, so still Saturday. And um, I've just come to, Mems wash the car, I've just come to Home Bargains. So I'll show you around. Then when I go home, I'm looking to do a come get ready with me, but I'll see if I can show you around. But this Home Bargain is always really busy on a Saturday. So come with me to Home Bargains. They've got loads of Valentine's Day stuff, by the way, guys. Yeah, so let's go to Home Bargains and see what we can find.
back and I might as well do a haul in the car. I've never done one of these before because it's a small haul. I only spent £20. So quite boring, but I got um, bin bags and these are actually really good because they're tie handle ones. So love those. So I got my mum, there's loads of Mother's Day bits and I recorded some of the new bits in there. I didn't record like a general one because it's quite repetitive. So I recorded all the stuff that is like new out. So they had really cute Mother's Day stuff. So I got my mum, forever my mum and always my friend. I get her loads of these. So I got her, my seatbelt. I got her one of those. Um, and she wears glasses and I love this. So this is mum in a million and she always says that she's one in a million. But I also tell her that she's one in a million. Blech just um some always panty liners but things like this guy sanitary towels panty liners are so much cheaper in home bargains and b&m than they are in other places um so i always just stock up when i go my dad guys is famous for his mints and he loves um treble i don't know how if you pronounce that so i got him some mints and i love both flavors spare mint and peppermint and then um, I'll give him half and then leave half in my car. And then I, the reason I actually came is to get one of these. Again, these are significantly cheaper. Yes, they do sell them in Tesco's and um, large supermarkets, but they're so much cheaper here. So this is for my mop, the flash mop um, spray, the electrical one. So I got that. Then I got a big glass. I'm making some tiramisu. And Miri, if you're watching, she broke my last glass Tupperware, my big oven one so i've just bought another one of those um also these gluten free these are re these are actually in aldi a packet of these i think for three packets they're like 159 these are 59p so gluten free rice cakes dark chocolate love those um really good especially on the go and last time i came home bargains there was a girl in front of me and she grabbed like eight nine of these and i thought mm, there must be a secret so i went see if i can get any and she must have cleared the shelf so this time around i found it is coconut mineral salt scrub and i have a feeling that this is probably a dupe for something um it's sealed so i'm not going to open it but now that i'm wearing fake tan i really need something that's going to like exfoliate um really well so it says apply a generous amount on wet skin massage for one to two minutes in a circular motion rinse with warm water um, so it's got natural dead sea salts and coconut oil so that's everything i got from home bargains bnm is just there's a tim Hortons and bnm next to each other but it's really rammed over there i was ah, i was going to treat myself to a coffee but it's always really rammed. Shall I go? Shall I not go? I'll get out the car park and see. Because it depends on it depends on how busy. So guys, another thing that I I don't think I've spoken about on this channel. Oh, I have actually when I've done my talking vlogs is I love having broth. So this is a beef broth, um, bone broth, and I froze it. So all I do is I defrost it a little bit and I just put it on the stove with some thyme, um, fresh onion and um, carrots. And I'll have this and this will keep me full for quite a long time. So it's now um, four o'clock and I'm going to eat probably later on. So this is like a, a late afternoon lunch. Um, and then this will save me from having a lot of dinner later so it's delicious thanks mum for making it and freezing it <laughs> so guys this is what it looks like pure goodness so what i'm just in my office watching my dizzy and i'm gonna finish my broth as much as i can and then um i will have a shower wash my hair um, and do a get ready with me <laughs> join me for my first ever get ready with me. I decided to put on um, fake eyelashes, but I'm gonna do them off camera. And the other thing is, is if this flops, then it's gonna basically ruin my whole look. Now you'll notice I haven't done any of my skincare yet because um, I use a lot of like old base products and it's gonna ruin if I try to put my eyelashes first. I should do one eye actually quite quickly, but there's usually one eye that I can do really quick and then the other eye that doesn't work. So the difference, is just 
outstanding really. Um, I always feel nice when I put eyelashes on. Whenever I have lashes, I always kind of miss my extensions that I used to have. Okay guys, that's done. They're probably not even if you look very close, but that's fine, that will do. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm using Mem's Charlotte to help me stuff. So let's see if he hears me. I'm gonna use some of the um, Charlotte Tilbury Crystal Elixir Serum, which is actually not mine, it's Mem's. And I got this for him for Christmas and he's absolutely rinsed it by the way. You'll notice if I've used it. So I'm gonna use the serum. Don't mind my washing machine in the background. So I'm gonna rub this in really nice. Very nice. Okay. My skin is dry because uh, it's it's literally just melted in straight away. Then I'm gonna finish this off with um, some um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm just waiting for him to make a pop in to say why are you using my stuff? I feel, like, I feel so naughty. And then I'm gonna um, rub that all in like that. Members absolutely rinsed this guys. Look, there's literally nothing left. I'm gonna just have a little bit, babe, okay? You've rinsed the oil though, haven't you, babe? I'll buy you some more. You don't need to stare, babe. Okay. It's just... Yeah. What? Supposed to I'm supposed to tap it on. Oh, is that why I can hear you making those tapping sounds in the morning, Ashka? Charlotte Tilbury's my holy grail. This. So I've... Because I tan now, I'm using. I'm still using Fair. I'm using Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a new one that came yesterday, and this is in 2.5. Looks quite light, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna warm it up with contour. And I like this because it just looks like skin, and I'm quite lucky because I have quite good skin. Um, I just have some red red spots here, like red marks. Um, and but generally, I don't really break out unless it's the time of the month. So then I'm going to go in with a second layer, but this time I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use my beauty blender this layer. I'm going to use the Refai Cream Bronzer in Sand and I'm just going to warm up my face with that. Just all over. So warm up my face like that. Then I'm going to I broke my nose in um, in May, and it's bent. So now I try to contour my nose. Don't know if I do a good job. And then I'm gonna go in with my um, Chanel concealer, which is B10. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to blend that out cream blush that I got from Primark because I haven't wanted to invest in the Charlotte Tilbury one yet I don't really, I'm not really a, a makeup like expert and I don't, I do, I don't really enjoy doing it anymore to be honest guys. I used to love 
do makeup when I was younger and then as I've got older it's just most of the time as you'll see from my videos I actually don't wear makeup and I'm just going to press that in like that press it in okay so guys that is my my base done where's my bronzer use hula little hula my battery's dying guys so if it dies and then i'll get ready don't be surprised i'm gonna do my blush which is from um doll beauty i love this one it's so bright i don't know what the color is but it's so bright but it actually looks really nice on the skin that's how bright it is. I'm just gonna go high up with that. You only need a little bit because it's very, very pigmented. And then I'm gonna use my MAC Soft and Gentle, like this. MAC Soft and Gentle. And then I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty. This is gorgeous, but it's very, very sparkly. So I'm going to use Fenty Beauty. I actually like this on my eyelashes, on my eyelids. So I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids and just a tad on my cheeks. For my eyebrows, guys, I just use, I'm going quick because my battery's dying. I use the Got To Be Glue. I'm just going to finish it off with my Givenchy Prep Set and Glow Mist. So I'm going to do couple of sprays of that I usually use this in the summer because it's like SPF 45 so I do that and then on top I use a revolution super dewy one this is actually really nice if I just show you on my skin it's really nice drown my face I for now I'm gonna go with a pinky lip so I'm gonna start off depending on my outfit I don't know what color this is Lips Don't Lie from Doll Beauty. And then I'm using the Chanel Lip Balm, which is really good by the way with lip liner, in light. So that is quite a pinky lip. I'm gonna tidy up and then we'll think about what we're gonna do with the hair. Okay guys, this is the um, finished look. So I've got tights, my skirt is a little bit short but I've got um, shorts underneath. I've got my belt, um, just a plain Primark um, seamless top. Um, my necklace, which has my name on it. Um, and I can't remember where that was from, but it was an online store. And I have put my hair extensions in now this side's blended better than that side um but i've taken i've got all my little brushes and stuff so if i go to my mum's and my mum is like husband doesn't look right then um i'll just do a slick bun so i've got all my bits and then my shoes are in the corner i'm gonna wear my heeled boots that is me done um i'm back at home now and it is i think five past midnight so that's a typical um day in, in my life um, tomorrow morning I have Pilates at 8.30 a.m. Um, I'm looking forward to that and um, it's a really good class actually so I've got that. did some henna so you um, put some in your palm and then um, one of my little cousins did me a little henna stencil which is cute. Um, yeah so thank you so much for watching this vlog um, and I hope you enjoyed it um, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. I'm